much for tuning in. This is my third video on here. So if you're still here, I'm like really ecstatic. Thanks for kicking around. Um, today, as you can probably tell from the title, today is a Hobbycraft haul. Hobbycraft, for those of you who don't know, here in the United Kingdom, um, well, if you're from the United Kingdom, you, sh you might know Hobbycraft. I don't know if it's all over, but definitely in and around London. It's not in London, but it's in like Greater London. Because it's really so much, just Hobbycraft. It's a craft store, so in Canada, it's like Michael's. In the US, it's like Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you guys have heard of those stores. Same concept, but it's the only thing in the UK. But one thing that doesn't make it the same concept, and I really wish it did, um, is you know how like Michael's always gives you like that coupon for like 60% off, and even if you don't have the cutout from the flyer in the post, they always have one at the till, and they just say, please bring it in next time, I'll do it for you today. Like 50% off or 60% off, whatever. And in the U.S., I feel like there's all, like, even when I've gone in, they've just given you a coupon, like, be it, like, 60% off, 30% off, like, just, they just give you discounts, like, it's amazing. Hobbycraft, not so much, you know, charge the same price, I don't give you no discount, they make you pay full price, and you have no choice but to pay full price, and by the time things go on sale, they sell out, because... There's a lot of crafters here in the UK, and our only store store, besides small random independent stores that are like, I don't know, we, I don't have anyone near me, but besides small independent stores, Hobbycraft is it. We don't have anywhere else to go to shop for crafting, besides online, but then you, know, you, you trust the online sometimes, you sort of sell it. There's so much involved. You can't just go there and can't get a good deal. You have to pay full price. Hobbycraft make money off me. Anyways, so some of the stuff that I bought, I'm going to show you. Actually, I'm going to show you all the Halloween stuff that I bought. I buy a lot of stuff. So first thing I'm going to show you, it's got some glue on it. That's gross. And these guys. <laughs> these are like bats. <laughs> yeah, I already tell you. They're visual. They're cool. They were two pounds, I think. I don't know. It's not the price on here. But I think they were two pounds each. And they're quite cool. Um, I was first hanging them this way and I'm thinking, this doesn't make sense. Like, like it's like the back. And then I realized you turn them upside down and you put the belly down this way. And then you look at this. Huh? You hang this one up so you get the effect of both. Look at that. Halloween all over again. I mean, it hasn't happened yet, so why would it be all over again? It, it hasn't happened yet. But you know what I mean. Just go with me. I think hung up during <laughs> hung up during my um, Halloween party. These will look really cool. And for two pounds. They even have dip, like eyes on them. And like because of the tinsel sort of body and the tinsel on their wings. Like when they're hanging. You can see like they kind of shimmer a bit. Like looks cool. For two pounds. So four pounds on the two of them. And I think that was... A really decent find. <laughs> After I just com sort of complained about how expensive Hobbycraft is, I'm now thinking they're like a decent buy. You know what I mean. Okay, the next thing I actually took out of the packaging because it was ruined. Or I thought it was ruined, but it's okay. Is this? It was like a banner. This is the show. proof of the packaging I did buy from Hobbycraft. Um, it's called a skull banner. It's two meters long. I think this was also two pounds, or maybe it was four pounds. I don't. I couldn't find my receipt, and I couldn't remember. Um, so I bought a bunch of things all together. So I was like, I don't know, in touch prices, for two pounds or four pounds or something like that, which I thought was really cool. Um, and it was like a papery, plasticky sort of kind of thing. And it's like this. You fold it over. And open it up for you guys. So these are like sugar skulls, or like you know. The Day of the Dead kind of. What's the Spanish term for these? I should have kind of knew. I knew, but it's not coming to my head right now. I don't know why. Anyways, so these are these sugar skulls, which are kind of cool, and it's two meters long, so I think that's pretty like a decent length for two pounds. And just hang them up around the house, and I think it looks pretty. You know, look at that. If they were hung up behind you. Two pounds or maybe four pounds. I'm not, I'm not sure. And it's nice. They're like a they're 
paper, but it's like thicker paper, so it's not like, I thought that it would have been tissue paper, and that's why I was really disappointed when this, because this came like folded over like that, and I was like, oh no, I thought it was going to rip, but because it's a thicker material, um, it didn't, so I could probably just iron it, or maybe I could fold it the other way. But I'm probably going to iron it just to smooth it out, because kind of OCD, and that's what it says. Even though, yes, I know it's paper, I'll put the name to me. That was my skull buy, which I was, or my sugar skull banner, which I'm really happy with. The next thing I got, I'm just gonna grab them so that you can show it to me. Read them all at once. For these guys. They are styrofoam skulls, polystyrene or whatever, whatever term you prefer. These are a pound each, but I think these are a great craft. Like, I love to paint when I'm like stressed or something and I need a bit of me time or like just to switch off paint or try, try painting, try crafting. It might work for you as well. But these are really cool for a pound. Um, so I bought eight of these. These are just four here, but if you notice this tree decor behind me, I've already decorated some of them. So like this one, like it's got the glitter all on it. it looks really cool. This one is another glittery one that I put glitter on. Um, this paint, which I'll show you in a sec, I haven't taken it out yet. Look at that. It looks like it's, it doesn't look like it's styrof like styrofoam. Styrofoam, it looks like it's um, an actual metal. And this is kind of cool. This glue that I use, I actually picked up from the pound shop. But this is really cool because you can give it like that sort of uh, marble, you know, like the marbly sort of texture on the skull. Um, but yeah, and I think, you know, how cute does this look? Moving on. Um, then I bought some actual crafting sort of things. So I bought these, which are foam brush set. And interesting fact, I wanted the pack of three for a pound or or a pound for a pack of three, which I thought, oh my god, that's a bargain because anywhere else you like, I look, they were packed, it packaged up, with, but with like cheapy paint brushes, and I was like, I don't want the paint brushes, I just want the foam things. Anyways, I went into Hobbycraft's website and they had a pack of three for a pound, and I was like, great, but I didn't order enough online to get it delivered. So then I thought, you know what, I'll pop into my local Hobbycraft, it's about 10 15 minutes from my house. And they didn't have it, but they had these, which I'm really actually happy that they have these because this is a pack of 15, oh no, 20 of these that I picked up for five pounds, which is such a better value than three for a pound, I think. Maybe it's the same price. No, three times five would be 15. Ah, I got five extra, much better value. So if you do a lot of painting and you're gonna wanna do a lot of painting, you see foam brushes, they work so much better on the solder foam. Comment below if you actually want me to do a video on all this sort of stuff. Then the last, not, not last thing, but one of the last sort of things I bought, which I'm going to feel interested in, but with these are, are these glitter tubes. As you can see, I've used one of the glitters, um, and that was the one that I did this skull. Let me take it out. I did this skull in, um, what, what would you call this? silvery, metallic-y, purple-y sparkle, which I think looks really cool. And imagine this at dark with just like a little bit of light on it. It's really cool. So I thought, you know, and these, these glitters were like two pounds, and they're all like the Halloween colors, like the purple and orange. Um, it does have a black glitter in there, a, a whitey, a goldy, and a mustardy sort of color, which are like great for this time of the year. And, for like two pounds, you get such a selection. Bargain. Other things that I bought, this is, I don't even know if you'll find this interesting, but I thought I'll share, was um, by Deco Art. That's the metallic acrylic paint. That was the paint that I used to paint this guy with. Let's take this guy off. That I used to paint this. So you know how this sort of looks like that sort of stony, you know looks to be black pearl. I mean, it doesn't look very pearless, 
but nonetheless it looks really cool like a really neat effect and I picked up this and I think this was I think it was like five pounds or something like four it's, it's expensive man it's like 59 mils of paint um, but yeah that was like that was ridiculously overpriced but you know what can you do when you when you want the color, that you need the color, you're going to pay the price. This is one of the other things I picked up, which is a glitter shaker. That's the black glitter, and that is the black glitter that I used on this one, um, which is really cool. And this one I think was like a pound at 60 or something like that. It was less than two pounds, I remember that much for sure. Um, which I thought was like, it's quite nice because it's not a chunky glitter, it's like a more medium medium to fine through the grit so it doesn't look doesn't look cheap because you know when you get those chunky glitter flake glitter bits if you ever bought your glitter from a pound land or a dollar store or something you're gonna know that they, they can sometimes do like those bulk things of glitter those are really thick and chunky bits versus this is quite nice because it's quite sort of finely more medium build which is quite good and then I picked up these which I don't really know where what I'm gonna do with these or what but these are um these things they're like the googly eyes that you can stick on things um i i don't really know i mean i did pick them up to stick them on the skull but then i think a skull looks better without googly eyes they're called wiggly eyes I keep saying googly eyes same concept you know googly wiggly whatever um these googly eyes and they, like, they do multiple sets, and there's so many of them, and I can't remember the price of them, but I, I want to say they were something like three pounds or something like that, like two something, which is not too bad, considering how packing it. And the last thing I picked up was, um, so you know how I'm doing this Halloween party, and obviously Hobby Craft, just like Michaels, has like, Michaels and Hobby Lobby and all them lot have like a cooking section. So then I picked up these color melts or these candy melts. Now normally I buy I always buy the Wilton candy melts, hence why I call them color candy melts. But my local one didn't have any of the black ones or orange ones in stock. I don't know if someone's bought them all out, but I've been twice, which I think is a lot of times. I've been twice looking for the black ones and haven't been able to find them. So then I picked up these ones. They're rainbow dust colors. Let me show you rainbow dust colors and they're called color melts it's black you know and they, they they just they feel like smaller than um candy melt uh, than the candy wilton candy melts but nonetheless i think it could be the same sort of concept i, I mean i think it is the same sort of concept i'm hoping they work the same way because um one of the one of the treats I'm gonna do is I'm gonna well, I'm gonna need this for my Halloween party to, for some of the dessert I'm gonna need. I'm gonna do some mini Frankenstein things, and I wanna you know dip Frankenstein's hair with this. And so I'm hoping, hoping this works. So it keeps me subtle, quick setting. It all sounds promising. Anyways, my beautifuls, this this is it. That was my hobby hobby craft haul. Uh, Halloween haul. Obviously, there was a few bits that I bought that are more Christmas, and I probably won't show them until I show Christmas. Yes, I. That's right. Do you know Hobbycraft is one of the stores that really puts out their Christmas stuff like really early. Like uh, I think I was in there like end of September, beginning of October for when I was buying the Halloween -y bits. But yeah, and they had some like sneaky Christmas card stuff. Um, because as I've mentioned, if you haven't seen my original video and I tell you some information about myself is that I craft and I make my own cards, which definitely includes the Christmas cards. If you've ever received a Christmas card from me, yeah, you're welcome. I invest in that early. Uh, so I did buy some things in September for Christmas, but this was all the Halloween-y sort of bits. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this halloween -y haul of some crafting bits. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a video of me actually doing the crafts. I mean, I know I've spoken to you through some of the crafts that I did, um, or reasons why I bought them to, to what I'm going to do, but I can always definitely show you some, some ideas. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. 
Uh, please let me know what you think of this video and how I'm doing because I'd love some feedback. Even if it's constructive, I'd love some feedback. Um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, I don't know, like, why have you tuned into video number three if you're not going to hit my subscribe button? Come on, people. Please, hit that subscribe button. And also hit the notification so you're well aware of as how, when I'm posting. Because at the moment, I feel like I'm doing pretty well for, like, a newbie. That's right, you know. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, never give up. Keep on going. And let's, let's make this happen. Bye, guys.